Suffering is non-surrender. How could you surrender to non-surrender? Forget about surrender for a moment. When your pain is deep, all talk of surrender will probably seem futile and meaningless anyway. When your pain is deep, you will likely have a strong urge to escape from it, rather than surrender to it. You don't want to feel what you feel. What could be more normal? But there is no escape, no way out. There are many pseudo-escapes work. Drink, drugs, anger, projection, suppression, and so on, but they don't free you from the pain. Suffering does not diminish in intensity when you make it unconscious. When you deny emotional pain, everything you do or think as well as your relationships become contaminated with it. You broadcast it, so to speak, as the energy you emanate, and others will pick it up subliminally. If they are unconscious, they may even feel compelled to attack or hurt you in some way, or you may hurt them in an unconscious projection of your pain. You attract and manifest whatever corresponds to your inner state. When there is no way out, there is still always a way through. So don't turn away from the pain. Face it. Feel it fully. Feel it. Don't think about it. Express it if necessary. But don't create a script in your mind around it. Give all your attention to the feeling, not to the person event, or situation that seems to have caused it. Don't let the mind use the pain to create a victim identity for yourself out of it. Feeling sorry for yourself and telling others your story will keep you stuck in suffering. Since it is impossible to get away from the feeling, the only possibility of change is to move into it. Otherwise, nothing will shift. So give your complete attention to what you feel, and refrain from mentally labeling it. As you go into the feeling, be intensely alert. At first, it may seem like a dark and terrifying place. And when the urge to turn away from it comes, observe it. But don't act on it. Keep putting your attention on the pain. Keep feeling the grief, the fear, the dread, the loneliness, whatever it is. Stay alert. Stay present present with your whole being, with every cell of your body. As you do so, you are bringing a light into this darkness. This is the flame of your consciousness. At this stage, you don't need to be concerned with surrender anymore. It has happened already. How? Full attention is full acceptance, is surrender. By giving full attention, you use the power of the now, which is the power of your presence. No hidden pocket of resistance can survive in it. Presence removes time. Without time, no suffering no negativity can survive the acceptance of suffering is a journey into death facing deep pain allowing it to be taking your attention into it is to enter death consciously when you have died this death you realize that there is no death and there is nothing to fear only the ego dies imagine a ray of sunlight that has forgotten it is an inseparable part of the sun and deludes itself into believing it has to fight for survival and create and cling to an identity other than the sun would the death of this delusion not be incredibly liberating do you want an easy death would you rather die without pain without agony then die to the past every moment and let the light of your presence shine away the heavy, time-bound self you thought of as you. The way of the cross. We are concerned with nothing else here. Strictly speaking, they did not find God through their suffering. Because, suffering implies resistance. They found God through surrender, through total. Acceptance of what is, into which they must have realized on some. How do you equate surrender with? The way of the cross that you am until recently it was the only W efficacy. It still works. At this time, as far as the unconsc of the cross is still the only W suffering. And enlightenment is preceded by vast upheavals. T universal laws that govern the gross and seers. It is described, Amo apocalypse, though cloaked symbology. This suffering is in and on each other, as well as by sea is a living, intelligent organism onslaught of human madness. However, there is a growing numb is sufficiently evolved not to knee enlightenment. You may be one oh, enlightenment through suffering into the kingdom of heaven kick.